Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I am Pastor Pete and I have your word for the day. We are in the book of Matthew and we're in chapter 12. I'm going to read to you just a couple of verses, verses 38 and 39. It says this, Then some of the scribes and the Pharisees answered him saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So when I read this, I instantly thought of the 1994 number one song by Ace of Bass, The Sign, right? And it says, I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. The Pharisees needed their eyes opened. And Jesus says, I'm going to give you a sign. And the sign is the sign of the prophet Jonah. So what sign is that? Well, if you read the rest of this paragraph, you will see it's the sign of a man basically being dead and buried for three days. Jonah was in the belly of a giant fish for three days. And then God spared him, spit him out on dry land. Jonah then went to the Ninevites and he proclaimed the message of hope and repentance. And they repented and believed. Jesus says to the Pharisees, that's the sign you're going to get. And he's, of course, foreshadowing his death on the cross and then his resurrection from the dead three days later. That is the sign that the Pharisees were going to get. Jesus also references in this paragraph another Old Testament story of the Queen of Sheba, who heard about King Solomon's greatness and King Solomon's wisdom and the expansiveness and the richness of King Solomon's kingdom. And Queen Sheba came and observed everything she had heard about King Solomon and then recognized that God was at work in the nation of Israel and in King Solomon's reign. Another sign. These, these two Old Testament uh, people, Jonah and the Queen of Sheba, they saw God's work and they obeyed it. The Ninevites saw the sign of Jonah coming out of that fish three days later and preaching to them, and they repented and believed. So what do we learn from this? What do we need to, well, we need our eyes opened. We need to be able to see the sign that Jesus promises here. And the first sign is that he died and he rose again. So have you responded in faith to that very reliable eyewitness testimony that we have in scripture that Jesus truly died and he truly rose again? and he is the way to have eternal life. Have you responded to that? I hope you have. You're listening to this, so I'm assuming you have, but let me encourage you. Make sure that you're trusting in Jesus Christ as your savior. And then the next thing I think about is, do you realize the great wisdom and power that Jesus has? The Queen of Sheba, in this passage she's called the Queen of the South, realized that in Solomon's kingdom, do you realize it as you're part of God's kingdom through Jesus Christ? That he has the wisdom you need, he has the power you need, and you need to go to him, maybe today, with something. Bring it to him, whatever you're wrestling with, whatever you're thinking about as we enter into this Thanksgiving week, and bring it to Jesus because he has the wisdom to help you and the power to help you. Have a wonderful week, Calvary, and we will see you next time.